to my future self in these cold days and windy and snow that are coming ahead. I must think and be prepared. I have one of those battery box, don't know what they're called. It's a thing you plug in and then you, if you lose power to your phone, like your battery runs out, you plug it into that thing. I don't know what it's called. So to my future self, make sure it's plugged in. Now in the summer, I always make sure I had several of them, but well, we won't go into the story about what happened to the others, but I always had it. I charged it every, every evening, no matter what, because I had to plug it into the little fan I had in my room. Now that winter's coming, you have to think of these things because I did text and call my son's father to say if the power went out, he would have to bring us somewhere or put us somewhere or do something to help because it is his child too. Of course, I could never stand the cold either because I'm shivering and I would get hypothermia very quickly. So let's see. If he doesn't answer, which he won't, um, we could just go into my car. Yes, but how would we do that? I'm being sarcastic here in case no one's following my script here. I don't have a script. How would we go? We would just go. I mean, the common thing would be don't even bother with him as one person in real life friends said, don't bother with him, says the, the rich woman who gets a new car every six months. Let's see, I just go to my car and try to find a place. Well, she'd have money for a hotel, but we don't. So we'd find a shelter. We'd look in advance, know where it is, and go. But, 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 wait a minute. So we know the father hasn't shown up to help because he doesn't give a crap about his child. Not only a child, a disabled child with a deadly heart condition and other conditions. Me, the mother of the child, I can't tolerate cold or heat, so I might have hypothermia before any of this is resolved. So the normal person could just go in their car and go to a shelter, but hey, no, no, no. Because if you've been watching my vlogs and paying attention, when it gets cold, my car freezes up and we cannot get into the car. Nope cannot so <laughs> we couldn't even at the worst case scenario just get in the car and drive up and down the street because if we go a step further my car is not reliable it can break down and what would be worse well there's worst case scenarios but that would be right now a very worst case scenario if we went in my car to drive around so we could have heat and the car broke down then we would freeze to death for sure so basically, we are stuck in this encampment that his father has made for us to be in the disaster he's done of my home. While well, he's nice and snugly with his you-know-what. We won't say the name in case I offend anyone who thinks that a woman who takes a man from his child is not something that begins with the, with the letter W. So he, the narcissistic... Narcissistic, narcissist, I can't even say it, it's so cold. The whatever it's called. Um, he's nice and warm and cuddly, and if he loses power, he has his little cuddle pay per hour person. Anyhow, I just couldn't hold it back, you know, because I have to worry nonstop about our son to keep him alive, and now I got to worry about heat, the heat going out. So... This is all sarcastic, and this is for my future self. Um, whenever we have uh, our first kind of real sort of snow, whatever we have, I will um, hopefully, uh, well, hopefully none of this will come to fruition, but I'll, I'll have it set as soon as I learn that, you know, there's going to be a, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just going to put this out on the video. This is a video I'm making to my future self. Ugh. My heart is racing. I, I just, I feel sick to my stomach thinking about he has a father who's living in a secret place that is obviously warm, that he bought a new, uh, what did he say? He said a uh, text, whatever, I don't know. Like I said, three times I talked to him in a couple texts, but he made sure he let me know he, he bought himself a new comforter, a new couch, not a comforter, a new recliner, couch, and TV. And I'm sure he has heat and he has two vehicles, so... He could give me one so our our son and I could drive around if if the power went out. But that's not going to happen. So 
this this is what we deal with and we don't even have a flashlight i asked him to get us a flashlight or a lantern or anything but no and he promised i went back and saw the text from long ago when he asked what size he doesn't know what size his son wears and he said he'd get him a coat hat gloves long underwear a blanket a comforter slippers hat gloves you know just basic things right uh this was way back long ago and then um i reminded him again after he deserted his child and never came back to visit him reminded him and he again asked the sizes i told him he promised to get him and he didn't so so what will good mother do give all the blankets she has to her child if god forbid this happens and then just pray i don't croak because you know i can't take the cold like i said i don't know if i put the video i said i'm like a car without a thermostat because i don't know what else the answer is but anyhow those of you who um who are living in this kind of weather let this be a forewarning to you make sure you have flashlights uh extra batteries uh power something box i don't know whatever i was talking about candles lighter <coughs> Maybe you're lucky and have a generator, you have a gas stove, or you have a gas fireplace, or anything like that. Just make sure you have what you need. And, um, I don't know what else to say. I'm, <laughs> this video is very, very kind. Believe me, you, what I want to say, I'm not going to say. But, anyhow, I've already heard from his, uh, his, uh, I'm not going to say it, anyhow wasn't nice about our child but anyhow this is to my future self so i guess after i finish loading this video no as soon as i'm done i'm going to charge the little box thing power bank i think that's what it's called i don't know doesn't matter hope it's still working so when you watch this if you're in an area where you may lose power i guess if you know if you're used to having air and you're in a hot place i guess you'd have to you know whatever you do when it's hot which I don't know right now because it's very cold here. All right. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell, share, sharing is caring. Don't forget to pay it forward. It feels good in your heart, Polly's heart, and my heart. Be the reason someone smiles today. Thanks for watching. See you again.